everyone, I am Sakshi Kushwaha and welcome back to yet another video on machine learning tutorial. So in the previous video, we have discussed how to uh, select our model and how to select our algorithm for a particular problem. So from this video, we are going to learn how to predict our model, how to train the model and how to check, uh, how to calculate the accuracy of the model and all these uh, things. So let's start. Uh, yeah so in the previous video we have discussed uh, these algorithms these are all the algorithms all the models so you, you whatever the model you want to apply you can apply okay so these are the models these are the algorithm for regression problem and same uh, uh, some there is a some change in for the classification algorithm you have to just search uh, okay so uh, in the sixth step the sixth step is a training the model so how to train the model so dot fit and dot fit is a function and which takes the parameter x train and y train and it is a model name lr is a model name model name dot fit and you provide the parameter this is a um, this is what machine is learning so this one line is uh, what when machine is learning okay so let's start like there is a some change in like uh, we uh, our problem is a classification problem as we already know so uh, we have seen that our uh, like whatever we want to predict is a low medium and high okay uh, yeah low medium and high there is a uh, we have to identify the stages of cancer whether it is a low medium or high so it is a string we have to convert it into a 0 1 2 uh, value okay so low means 0 medium means 1 or high means uh, 2 okay so for converting it we have to just uh, above four, fourth step but uh, 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 before splitting the data you have to just perform the uh, in label encoding okay so you have to just write from uh, sklearn preprocessing import label encoder then you have to uh, write le means whatever the name you want to give and dot label encoder it is a function label encoder is a function or algorithm you say and here is a y y is equal to model dot fit transform it uh, the transform function is, is uh, used for transforming the uh, transforming the label like uh, it is uh, uh, it is in a string format like low medium or high so it transform into 0 1 2 index okay so yeah for i in x dot column means for every features it converts it converts the it converts into float float or integer value okay 0 1 2 not a string value a string to integer value okay so after this we split the data uh, using the function train test and split from sql and dot model selection and then we have to identify whatever the uh, what is the what is the type of problem and we have to select the uh, algorithm okay so you have to select algorithm uh, like it is a classification problem so uh, we have select logistic regression we have to just write um, it is a model so you have to if you want to rename it you have to write model because it is a model okay so our model is built means we have choose the model so our model is built and the next step is train the model how to train the model so you have to just write here model dot fit model dot fit and x train comma y train okay so uh, yeah and you have to provide max iter is 1000 so it is it is a it is basically the iteration and it is only used in classification problem in the case of logistic regression we have to not use in the regression problem okay so you have to just uh, run this line so here what have, what the machine is learned okay so our machine is trained successfully so the next step step 7 is to predict the model okay predict the model so we have for predicting the model you have to just write uh, what is the error so you have to just calculate what is the error error means actual minus predicted the whatever the actual value is and we have to subtract it from the uh, we uh, whatever the predicted value is we have to subtract it from the actual value so it is a function you have to just uh, find by predict and uh, here you give the model name means model dot predict is a function like dot fit is a function as same as dot predict is also a function and you have to just provide x test okay the next step is check the accuracy of the model okay so you have to just write step 8 uh, step 8 whatever what is the step 8 is checking the accuracy of the model so yeah 
check the accuracy so how to check the accuracy so uh, there is uh, there is uh, two functions for uh, one for regression and one for classification okay so so uh, here it is a classification problem so uh, we are going to discuss the accuracy of uh, how to find the accuracy of classification problem so uh, we have the y predicted value and you have to just write now uh, you have to just write from and scalar dot matrices okay yeah matrices import so scalar is a library and matrices is a module and you have to just import the function what are the functions import accuracy score okay Accuracy score, confusion matrix. Yeah, I will tell you each and everything. What is the confusion matrix and all? Yeah, and classification report. Okay. So uh, here we import accuracy score, confusion matrix, and classification report. So for calculating uh, this accuracy score, you have to just write accuracy score. Yeah. Accuracy score and you have to provide y test. Means uh, it is the actual value. Okay. Y test is the actual value and you have to provide y predicted. So it is a predicted value and you have to ch uh, check the accuracy, what the accuracy is. So it's accurate. It gives the accuracy is 100%. It means it gives in the probability. So it gives a uh, 1.0. It means very high accuracy. Uh, it is a perfect model. So I know there is no uh, nothing is perfect, but uh, it gives the uh, one accuracy means 100% accuracy. Okay. So yeah, it is, this is very small data set. So that's why most probably it gives it. So for checking the uh, confusion matrix, you have to just write. Y test and Y predicted. Okay. Yeah. So this is a confusion matrix. Okay. So like here is uh, here is a uh, high. It is the first column is for low and second column is for medium and third column is for uh, uh, third column is for high high chances. Okay. So it gives uh, the very it gives 100 percent accuracy so one 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 uh, number of one 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 rows one 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 patient means 111 patient are uh, chances of, of low cancer and 86 percent cancer um, chances of uh, medium per medium and one 103 103 percent have chances of high high cancer okay so it gives the accuracy one it, it is a classification report and no sorry it is a confusion matrix and now we have to find the classification report okay so you have to just write classification sorry classification, yeah. classification report and you have to just provide y test yeah y test and y predicted okay so this is a classification report uh, y test and y predicted so this is the precision value f1 score and support so this is the accuracy this is 1.0 okay and uh, this is the accuracy and these all are the this is this is a macro average this is a weighted average so all gives the 1.00 probability it means it is very accurate model and uh, your model is good and you have to just provide any testing value you have uh, like eight eight steps are completed okay so yeah first step is import the library second step is read the data set and the third step is uh, define target and features and the fourth step is uh, splitting the data into training training data and testing data and if your data contains the uh, it is a classification problem and if your data contains string value you have to just encode it into a uh, integer value okay and then you have to identify the problem whatever whether the problem is regression problem or classification problem then you have to choose the model a particular algorithm for the problem and then step six is you have to train the model 
you have to build the model here in step five and in step six you have to train the model by just writing a single line this line and in step seven you have to predict the model so um, you have to just uh, write uh, you have to just find the y predicted uh, by writing uh, this function model dot predict x test and the step eight is check accuracy of the model and uh, for checking the accuracy there are two methods uh, one for regression and one for classification problem hence this is a classification problem so we only use um, the, we only use the method which is used for classification problem so you have to just import from sklearn dot matrices import um, accuracy score confusion matrix and classification report okay so from by writing this accuracy score function you have to just pre, uh, find the what is the what is the accuracy of this uh, model and this is a confusion matrix and this is a classification report so your model is built now and uh, the, all eight steps are completed so in the next video we take an example for the regression problem and we are going to find uh, what, uh, how to um, how to uh, check the accuracy of a regression problem so till then take care bye bye give your give your best okay